after now. So today we're going to be reviewing the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I'm very, very, very excited. I actually didn't buy this. My friend bought this and she's letting me use it. So shout out to her. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do my full face and because we just have some powder gloss and the eyeshadow palette to try out So I'll be right back So um, first we're gonna be trying out the what is this called? The magic star luminous setting powder in the shade natural. So I have the the regular I don't know if it's the regular but you know the um, Jeffree star powder that is not supposed to be luminous, but this is supposed to give you like that extra glow from the powder which I'm kind of nervous about because like normally I glow too much so um, I put my foundation and concealer on and we're gonna try this underneath the eyes and around the smile lines and all that good stuff does this smell like cotton candy oh it smells like cotton candy just like the other one does so it's very it's it's like a, a powder highlight almost like just looking at it Let's swatch it really quick. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I mean, it is powder, so it's supposed to be powdery. But like, wow, okay. Okay, that's pretty. Not mad at that. All right, so I'm gonna leave the powder on and we're gonna be baking while I do my eyeshadow look. So, this is the palette. It's like, it's pretty stinking big, man. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. So we have Jeffrey on the front over there. And look at that. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Now, the only thing that really stopped me from getting this palette for myself is because it, this whole row honestly like looks the same to me like there are different undertones obviously but I feel like if you put these on your eye like just wanting something that's a light base they're all gonna look the same <laughs> they're all gonna help you achieve that look that you want with the white base underneath but um, I think it's beautiful so I'm gonna prime my lids with this Maybelline instant age rewind eraser which is my favorite thing to prime my lids with Actually gonna wipe this powder off because we've baked enough we've been on for about like five minutes and I want to be able to see if there's any fallout from the palette but wow wow it looks like I already have highlighter on wow that's so pretty and it like soaked into my skin too like I put some around my smile lines over here and it just it really like it's soaked in. I don't even have to wipe it off. I like it a lot. This is some satisfying ASMR. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a smoky eye and use a bunch that you can't see. I use a bunch of these colors down here. Um, some of these names I can't say because they're just I mean think of the name of the palette and like things that go along with that. And that's what these are named, so I'm not gonna say them. <laughs> so first I'm gonna use the shade Body because that's gonna be a nice base shade. Oh boy, oh that's a lot of fallout. Whoa, did you see that? Oh my god. Look, ready? Okay, tiny little bit, both sides. Okay, okay. That shade went on really nicely, but I don't understand why there's so much fallout. Normally with um, eyeshadows that are pressed softly, you know, there's going to be a lot of pigment. Um, with this eyeshadow, you don't really need a lot of pigment because it's not a super bright color. It's just like a nice little taupe, um, you know, light brownish color. So I don't really understand why it's pressed so softly to have that much fallout. But it's going on very nicely. Yeah, I have all. Oh. All right. So the next shade I'm gonna use shade, shade. The next shade. Um, I'm gonna use this um explicit shade. 
I'm not sure what shades I can say out loud and what shades I can't, but just like, it's not me saying this, it's the palette, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna be putting that on, right on the outer part of the crease. And I kinda wanna wing this out a little bit, like bring it out, make it a little more dramatic. It's gonna be a like brownish smoky eye. Okay, again, with the fallout like this one is is much more pigmented because it's a darker shade so I can understand it more but it's like fallout city man I don't really understand why they're pressed so softly all right the next shade I'm gonna use is this one right here this one um, and I can't say it out loud because I don't want to get demonetized <laughs> so I'm just gonna pat that on my lid on my crease this one doesn't have as much fallout which is very surprising because <laughs> it's a darker shade so you would think what's going on with that okay um it's a darker shade so you would think that it would you know have more fallout because it's more pigmented but it doesn't or what yeah okay so you know i'm not mad at this palette at all i think it's very beautiful i think the eyes are coming out like very very nicely and they look the way I expected them to and I wanted them to um the only thing that I'm not you know I'm, I'm just being a little harsh because the only thing I don't really like about it is the price point now okay it has how many it has a lot of shades okay it's um as big as his jawbreaker palette I think if not um a little bigger and so you know you're paying for the shades that you get and there's a lot of shades but again, this top row here, I don't think that was necessary, to be honest. I think that here, there could have been a couple of these taken out and, you know, the, the lighter ones brought, oops, the lighter ones brought in to this and like maybe make it a little smaller. Um, and then that would help the price point. But again, you know, you're paying for the Jeffree Star name, you're paying for, um, you know the Jeffree Star Cosmetics brand and you know I love the brand but this palette is not it's not my favorite that he's come out with to be okay, I'm gonna take the shade craving chocolate and I'm just gonna run that see look at that I'm gonna run that on my outer eye over here just to kind of define that brown Right, so I'm gonna take the shade Craving Chocolate and Invitation Only, and I'm gonna mix it. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna run that under my waterline over here. Okay, so I mean, I really like this palette. Like it, the eye look is honestly gorgeous, and I really like that it's all matte because you really can't find a whole bunch of palettes that are all matte right now. Um, and I really like the powder. Um, I wouldn't wear the powder every day though because I'm already so oily. <laughs> I have like a natural glow. Um, but I think it's really nice. I think it's nice for a uh, baking powder and I really like how the shadows felt on my eye. I didn't have any fallout on my cheeks at all. Um, just like on the brush and it was powdery in the pan when I was picking it up. Um, so yeah, let's, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we're gonna come back for the gloss. Okay, um, so I was just informed that this palette, I thought I thought my friend had already swatched them, and so that's why there was this mess up down here, but that's how it came. She hasn't touched it at all. This is the first time it's been touched, and I was kind of wondering about that, but yeah, all down here. Yeah, it's like all, it it's, came like that. And that's, that makes me kind of upset, especially for, how much how expensive this palette is you should be getting exactly what you want and you should not be worrying about any packaging mishaps or anything all right so the rest of the face is done and we have the gloss to test out and this is from the orgy collection also um what shade is this this is um, the shade pretzel drip 
All right, so it says two finishes, glitter fantasy and extreme shine, juicy, delicious, iconic on its own or over any lipstick. All right, so we're gonna do it on its own. It's this like gorgeous, honestly, like pretzel glittery shade. It's really pretty, so let's see. All right, so honestly, I think this is my favorite thing of the whole collection. I mean, his glosses are already amazing, but I really like this. And I like how it's not super, um, like, dark. Like, it looks kind of darker in the um, uh, bottle. But I like how it's really just, like, like, you get that tiny little bit of color to kind of match the palette that, you know, the looks you can make from the palette. And then you have this, like, just gorgeous glitter. Oh, my gosh. It's, I think it's stunning. All right, so this is the final look um, using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Orgy Collection. I really like it, honestly. I really, I mean, I really like it. So pretty. All right, so thank you so much for watching again. If you like me, kind of, you can subscribe down there. Subscribe, below. definitely subscribe down there. It's down here somewhere. I still can't remember which side it's on. <laughs> But um, you can subscribe, you can like this video, and I have some other videos coming out soon that are gonna be very interesting and fun. And I have one review coming out that I'm very excited about. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Come here and say bye. 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 <laughs>